Well, most of you are waking up to wet, icy, or even snow packed roads this morning. The recent weather system that came in is making driving conditions dicey out there for many of you. News 13's David Romero is live in the newsplex. He is keeping an eye on the roads for you. How's it going, David? Well, not, not too bad, Elizabeth. It's not the most devastating of storms, but it's left enough on the road to cause some trouble this morning. Now, we're going to start off with a little bit of video of how it looked overnight around town. Uh, it's wet in some spots, but not too bad. Nothing that, of course, froze to the road, which would have caused icy conditions. You can see that a lot of traffic was able to pass through without any problems. But coming back out to me here on camera right now, you can see this is all on nmroads.com. You can see just how bad things are looking off to the north right here. All these red conditions right here are uh, severe driving conditions. Now, almost all the major roads around Rio, Rio Arriba County are the ones that are showing these bad conditions. They're snow packed and icy. This is all according to uh, the New Mexico Department of Transportation. They update this uh, by the minute. Now, all roads in and out of Tres Piedras over here, they are showing the severe driving conditions. Now, most roads in and out of Taos, that, those are also showing the same, except for Taos, uh, New Mexico 68, which is between Embudo and Taos. That's all, the, all over the canyon in that area. That's also showing fair about this time. Now, we, as we come back a little bit here towards the um, western and central part of the state, uh, New Mexico 550 between San Isidro, which is just a little bit north of uh, the Rio Rancho area, all the way over here to Lybrook, that is showing difficult driving conditions. The NM, uh, De Department of Transportation is showing, or saying rather, that there's a lot of snow on the roads. Pulling out back a little bit wider here, uh, as far as travel across the state and the interstates, it is okay at this point. Uh, the uh, the only bad part right here is around the Grants area. That is also showing that there's a lot of ice on the roads out there at this point. Now, if you're going to be heading out of the out of your house this morning and going to be taking these roads anywhere around the state, you want to make sure that you call 511 before you head out. Elizabeth, back to you. Uh, bottom line, looks like everything uh, north of Santa Fe is looking pretty bad. And also, thank you, David. And remember that any school delays or closures will be running at the bottom of your screen. Matt?